Hello, hello, coming to y'all live from my desk again. I thought I would do, um, in my last video, I talked a little bit about how I keep, I don't want to call it a melting basket because I know a lot of people actually have melting baskets where it's the only thing that they pull from. Um, but basically what I do is, let me see if I can get this in the shot. So I have this, it is a bin, um, from uh, just like my where the place where I store all of my wax um, is where uh, it's, I keep this in the same um, like set of drawers where I store all of my wax and in here what I hold on to are uh, bars that I'm currently melting so you can see here this one's got two cubes missing so once a bar goes into rotation it goes into this bin and then every now and then I'll go through and I'll clean out and I'll try to pull um, like older bars especially seasonal stuff so in here you'll probably see a combination of some of my fall and winter and spring and summer scents um, and I'll just kind of like move some of those fall scents back into the bins and then move some of my spring and summer scents like this one that have some cubes missing into this bin just so that I can kind of see and keep track of uh, what all I've got what I need to use up before I buy more um, and it, it seems to work for me okay uh, not perfect but what is perfect so thought that I would like I said I wanted to tell you guys about it how I kind of organize my wax in that way and then um, I figured I'd show you all some of what I've been melting recently um, I don't have much rhyme or reason to how it's stored in here. It's basically all kind of thrown in here. Um, sorry about that. It's still windy over here. Um, I think what I'll start off with are just a couple of things that I really like to melt in the bedroom. Um, I'm a big, like, calming, relaxing, soothing scent type of person. Um, and this here, this was from the Scentsy Interna International Wax Collection. Uh, you'll see, got another one from there that is uh, an all-time fave, and I just canceled my Scentsy Club. Uh, I'm going to restart it again, but not till after we get to the new house. I was just finding that, like, I hadn't put a ton of thought into it. And so, you know, I was getting scents that I really liked, like this one here. This one's Pacific Sandalwood. This might be my all-time favorite scent. It is the creamiest, sweetest sandalwood scent you have ever, ever smelled. I love it. This International uh, Wax Collection was actually um, different wax uh, like scents that Scentsy sells in different parts of the world. So I don't remember where Pacific Sandalwood was from, but I tell you, this is one of my favorite all time scents. Um, th this one's great. I use it in the bedroom um, almost <laughs> all of the time. So it was in my club for a very long time from like the second it came out and I am pretty well stocked on it. So I felt like I could kind of let it go. Uh, see, there are, it appears in the new spring summer collection, a few new sandalwood scents that I'm going to try, but I didn't like how I was just kind of mindlessly buying and rebuying all of these different, uh, wax bars, even when I wasn't melting through them. So, um, like I said, I've got a lot of backups of this, even though I use it all the time. I do really like it. That that's an all time fave for me. This one, not so much. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good though. Uh, salted lavender. Um, it's not my favorite lavender scent. It smells kind of fabric softenery to me, but um, it is pretty good and I like to mix it with stuff. This was a new addition. Um, Vanilla Oud from Bring Back My Bar. This one I got because it sounded the it sounded like it would be like Pacific Sandalwood. And from the color, and let me show you kind of the difference in color here. From the color, you would think, oh, this is going to be a much deeper scent. Uh, the thing is, when you are looking at it on the website and it looks like this, 
um, you can't really tell, <laughs> you know, what the wax is going to be and what it's going to look like. So I was not familiar with it. I'm still pretty new to Scentsy. I used to only use vendor wax back in the day and got out of it for a while and then back into it. But I like it. It is definitely deeper and darker than Pacific Sandalwood, but it's in that same family. I think it's a good bedroom scent, but it's a lot heavier than the uh, other one. Okay, uh, well, since I'm talking about the International Wax Collection, here's another one that I like from that. Uh, this is the Strawberry and Rock Melon. Um, on cold, this is so, so, so sweet. Very fruity, very bright smelling. When it's warmed, it still is, but it's not as, it's not so strong and overpowering. So I do really like this uh, warmed, truthfully, better than it smells on cold. It doesn't have a ton of throw, but um, in my office or like if your warmer is going to be real close to you, I think that this is a good pick um, if you like the fruity type scents. Okay, let me see. Do I have anything else in here from that international collection? I don't think so. I did buy the full set, but um, oh yeah, I do here. Uh, Lucky Star Fruit. This one I was not crazy about. I've only melted once as you can see there. Um, interesting because I do love star fruit. It smells kind of soapy. It'll end up being a bathroom scent for me. Uh, it's kind of what I do. And this was another one that I have relegated to the bathroom. Palm Beach Breeze. Not a big fan. My husband loves it. This smells like baby powder. I am not a fan of it. Does not do it for me. I know people like it. They're bringing it back this year and not my favorite of the spring summer from last year. Hibiscus Waters. Um, but I can appreciate that other people like things that I do not like, and I like things that other people do not like. So um, Palm Beach Breeze, like I said, for me, relegated to a bathroom scent. Here's another one that is a bathroom scent for me, Rise and Sunshine. You can kind of see it is a very juicy, sweet fruit scent, and I thought I would love it, but it smells like... Like it literally smells like you're cutting like the sweetest, juiciest orange right in front of your face. <laughs> There's like nothing else in it that I can pick up. So I, you know, I'm not crazy about it. I've used three cubes. Um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan. It's another one that my husband does like. And so I'm always like, oh, well, it can go in the bathroom. Yeah, then we'll get to smell it all the time, right? That's what you want in it. Um, another bathroom scent, uh, Waves and Wonders. This one was discontinued, at least for, uh, I don't know if it was fully discontinued, but it was taken away last summer before fall. It, it didn't go through, like, through the winter. Um, I like a good ocean scent. This is not a great ocean scent. It is a bathroom scent for me. It's got that same kind of powdery type of thing going on and I just it it doesn't really do it for me but it's another one um for me like Palm Beach Breeze which I've had success with in the bathroom and I like how it performs in the bathroom this one I don't even really like in the bathroom <laughs> but I will use it in there um and in the, in our new house we'll have more, like more bathrooms so we'll be able to put more stuff in the bathroom we'll have more bathroom scents um think that's oh no here's one more this one is not a bathroom scent because I don't like it I do really really like this scent uh, my husband uh, calls it uh, what do you call it like sweet cornbread scented though and he, he requested that I don't put it in the living room anymore this is Bloody Mary from Vapid Wax it is like Bloody Mary ingredients, but with like some kind of floral note. And I got to tell you, when I first tried it, I hated it. The second time I melted it, I loved it. And um, so this is in like their wonky wax. You can see there, there's that sticker. I mean, it's just got some spots on it, but... I, I love it. I need to place an order, get a little bit more uh, before they sell out of it. Um, I think next I'll do some of my like fall winter scents. 
Um, and then I'll kind of like stack them up so that I don't have to dig through them anymore um, in the bin. And then, like I said before, I do typically uh, move um, seasonally. I'll move stuff around a little bit. Sorry about like the weird camera. My phone doesn't work as a camera. I have to use my computer, but I don't want my face on. Anyway, whole big thing. So here's the fall winter scents that I've got. Um, one of these here, Cider Mill, yes. This isn't the one that I just said that I had repurchased, right. Okay, Cider Mill is excellent. I like it a lot. It isn't as good as Bright Cider Life, so I don't know that I'd repurchase it. You know, a, a girl can, in Florida, at least, can only have so many apple cider scented things. So this one is good. I think I prefer Bright Cider Life if it comes back. Actually, do I have backups? I think I might have backups of both of them. Um, but if not, I would probably repurchase Bright Cider Life over this one. This one I've only got one more melt of. I may <laughs> go ahead and melt it and just use that one up. Just be, not like be done with it, but that way I'm done with it. Um, Autumn Sunset, the wax color on this is incredible to me. This one, is it's got a lot of those like fall scents in it. Um, I, I do really like this one. It is not a bathroom scent for me, but I have melted it in the bathroom. Just I was trying to use up more of these um, fall scents before February. So uh, Hug in a Mug, I, I may not put this away. This is like hot cocoa, marshmallow, cream scented. I think this would be good like Valentine's Day. So I may leave this one out. I may end up finishing it up. If I do, I'll put it in my empties. But this, I, I really do like a whole lot. And then Cedar Cider, probably my least favorite of these fall scents. This one I got in a whiff box. It smells like men's cologne to me. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Like I said, I got it in a whiff box. I didn't pick it out. This one I also got in a whiff box. This is a win uh, Christmas type fragrance, Dancing Sugar Plums. I'm not a huge plum fan, but this scent is <laughs> awesome. It's so good. I really liked it. Um, I liked this so much that I ordered a bunch of sweet plum pastry from the most recent Bring Back My Bar. Have not even melted it yet, but I do really like this one. So I was like, I might as well go ahead and try out sweet plum pastry. I'll probably like that one too. Oh, here's one more Christmas. This isn't Scentsy. This is Goose Creek. Um, this one also only has one melt left. I don't like how they like put their melts in here, but this does smell just like Peppermint Mocha Milkshake. If you are from an area that has Chick-fil-A, that Peppermint Milkshake <laughs> probably looks quite familiar to you. Love the wax color. Great throw, great scent. I, I've been real impressed with Goose Creek, their candles, their wax. Oh, I don't know if I showed some of my Goose Creek empties in the last video. I don't believe I did. We'll see if I can find some more. But been really impressed with Goose Creek. Again, I just don't like the packaging on this, but... Um, this is quite good. I'll probably save this one to finish up next year. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with a couple like seasonless here and then, uh, actually no, I don't have, I really don't have many like spring, summer, just truthfully just a couple. Okay, uh, Mandalorian Air of Adventure. Where is it? Here we go. Okay. This one I really like. Um, it works well, basically wherever you put it. I'm, I have to be careful with what kind of warmer I warm it in though, because if you warm it in a warmer that has a top, like the artichoke warmer, or um, I mean, there's so many. The one that I have is the artichoke warmer though. Um, if you warm it in that, it you can't smell it at all. It is not a great performer, but it, I love the fragrance. So I did buy some extra. My husband also really likes this one. 
who doesn't love baby Yoda. Um, so uh, we did rebuy <laughs> this, but um, I, I like I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned it. I think it was this video. Canceled my Scentsy Club. I did mention it. I was talking about Pacific Sandalwood. I canceled Scentsy Club, so I won't get this anymore, but that's fine. It's not a great performer. Um, and I've got backup bars, so it'll be good. But I, the fragrance wise, love it. Love it. Love it. Um, this is an, a newer, uh, one. This is the NHL fresh ice. I love the color. It is such a good mint scent. I've got a backup bar of this. Um, I, I do really like it. It's not one of those, uh, there's a lot. I feel like of different fragrances, at least in this set that I'm looking at right now, where I'm like, I have to be in the mood for it. This isn't one of those. I feel like this you could use any time and it'll be great. Uh, speaking of things that you have to be in the mood for, happy birthday. Um, girl I watch on YouTube, I'm in her uh, Facebook group, Lisa Roberry. She highly, highly recommended this one in last summer's bring back my bar i do really like it i think it's a good scent um but it, it i mean it's definitely not my favorite so uh, i didn't like it's not club worthy to me um but i've got i think i've got this bar in one more bar and uh, for me that's enough i prefer just kind of like plainer bakery scents or frosting scents so th those would be kind of my picks over this now if you love the scent of funfetti cake <laughs> then by all means go ahead and try it just not for me um here's another kind of seasonless one this one was from avis country cupboard this was poured last may um it is uh cactus and sea salt like the uh the perfume scent um it was this big you can kind of see the outline actually you can't see the outline but uh, it was like it, the outline of the bar was above the label. Um, this is a bathroom scent to me. I need to just stick it with the other bathroom scents. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's a little too perfumey for me. Okay, now I'm down to my, uh, besides Pacific Sandalwood, like I said, all time fave. These are a few more of my favorites. Uh, bathing Garden, Take Me to the Sea. I think it was in the last video where I talked about how much I loved this collection from Bathing Garden this year. Um, I mean, the embeds on this are just so adorable. You've got like real shells in there, huge pieces of glitter. The scents are just to die for. I mean, I can't even explain to you how much I love this. I'm like saving it because I, I should move it out of my like active <laughs> bin because I melted it once, as you can see. And I'm like, well, I can't melt it again because then I'll be out too quickly. And I need to make sure that she comes back with this before I finish melting it. Now, what will I do if it doesn't come back this year? Will I melt it still? Of course. So maybe I just, it's a lesson in, you know, using what I have that I need to use this up. But Gosh, this is such, such, such a great scent. Uh, like I said, Take Me to the Sea from Bathing Garden. Anything in her ocean, uh, kind of fresh, outdoor, um, natural type scents is so good. I mean, her all of her scents are so good. But I, I particularly like the ocean, island margarita, tropical, floral type scents from them. I, I feel like they do it better than anybody else does. Here's another I'm saving, hibiscus water. First time I tried this, I hated it. Second time, so first time I tried it, I hated it. I'm like, this goes in the bathroom. Second time I tried it, I'm like, why is this in the bathroom? I have to save this. Um, so I haven't melted it in several months. I need to just melt it up. It doesn't look like it's coming back this year from what I can tell, um, but I'm gonna try. There's a hibiscus pineapple that I'm gonna try. I think that's what it's called, hibiscus pineapple. I don't remember. But um, I was getting it so I could remember it for this year. But like I said, it doesn't look like it's coming back for spring, summer. So maybe later as we get closer to summer, there will be another release. But for me, for right now, I don't think uh, it's coming back. So 
use it before the, the, the fragrance goes. And then last, um, I don't even know where, I probably thought that I had put one of these that was empty in that empties bin and have just thrown out the rest. I melt blue grotto like no tomorrow. This is my most used scent from anybody um, because I can get it all of the time. It's always there for me. And oh my gosh, if you have not seen Blue Grotto, this is what it looks like from what I have been told. This is the same scent as Capri Blue Volcano. Now I'm cheap. I don't have that candle. Um, I'm not spending 40 bucks on a candle probably. Uh, I say that watch me end up with it at some point, but, um, I love this scent. It, like I said, it is my favorite. It is the one I melt more than anything else. Um, this one was in my club. I used to get two bars a month of it. Um, it is, like I said, it's like nothing else. It is absolutely my favorite. So, uh, Blue Grotto, if you are new to Scentsy, I would definitely recommend this as one to get you started. Um, another one that I didn't see in here, and I might have pulled it um, into the bedroom, but Vanilla Bean Buttercream would be my other uh, recommendation for a beginner starting out with Scentsy. Those are my two scents. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, this afternoon is kind of go through some of these uh, bars that I have had in here, pick out a couple to keep in my basket that you see. Um, so I'll pick out some to keep in my basket. I'll probably move some of my other bars that, like I said, I've started using but um, have not finished that aren't in the bin because they're out of season um, and start melting some of my uh, spring summer wax because I'm in Florida, we have a cold front, we had a cold front come in today, but um, this past week it's been in like the high 70s and low 80s. So I'm back in that mood for my uh, tropical fruits and uh, my sweet bakery scents and things. So my citruses so I it's that time I think again to, to switch them out and uh, I'll do another video here in you know the next few weeks kind of updating you on uh, any empties that I may or may not have um, I'm trying to use up wax we close on our new house two weeks from today actually and then um, we'll be doing renovations to it so we won't be moving probably for at least another month to month and a half um, but uh, after that, once my wax ban, uh, self-imposed wax ban is done and we have moved, um, I'll show storage and all that kind of stuff too. But thank you guys all so much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.